Want to go through an old sewing box that no one's opened in close to 40 years? I'm Michelle and this is my Romantic Tangle and I've got my hands on my great grandma's old sewing box. For a little bit of backstory, I was at an estate sale last fall eyeballing a sewing box that I thought would be fun to get and do for an unboxing video. It was a cute box, but then my mom mentioned that she had my great grandma's old sewing box. And of course that is far better. This is the great grandma, if you watch my channel, who made the little Red Riding Hood doll, who painted the cabin painting that is above my fireplace, who made all the things. She passed away in 1982, and this was her sewing box. I am sure that my mother and grandmother have gone through it over the years to find what they needed, but I've never been into it, and for the most part, it's been untouched. So let's see what grandma had in her stash. Big Wicked Sewing Scissors. I wonder if we could not put, sharpen these and get a wicked new blade on them. I like those. Janie Spot Cleaner, not a liquid, leaves no ring. So removes most food and grease spots, rub on, cleaner, brush off. Is this like a dry cleaner sort of thing? I don't know how much I wanna poke at that. It's like a chalky, Somebody who knows what this is and has used it, <laughs> let me know if it worked back in the day. I'm guessing it might be too old to work now. Lots of thread on pretty wooden spools. So we have beading thread and silk thread and mercerized sewing thread. And I always love the little <coughs> labels on the ends of the spools. What? We got button and carpet thread, and I would be totally tempted to use these in some kind of sewing room decor, except I go to estate sales. I've got lots of pretty spools. I can leave grandma's enshrined in her sewing box. A monogram embroidery guide with the thread chart on instruction sheet. And those are sewing machine feet. <laughs> Any guesses what I am? It is a sharpener for shears from the Royal Neighbors of America, and you're supposed to cut across this wire. Sounds about as effective as cutting through tin foil, but I am young. What do I know? We've got little hosiery repair kits, more stuff from the Royal Neighbors of America. Grandma was a member, and a real silk mending kit. I love the graphics on these guys. And a silk stocking because that'll give us context, right? With the seam up the back. And I'm not kidding, this is how grandma had the stuff packed in here. We did not stage this. Long eye needles. I know that I should know what this is because I have seen these before. It is an easy stitcher complete with two needles that makes sewing fun makes a loop lock stitch as in knitting knitting we may have to try this thing out later in another video to see if it works let me know if you're interested in seeing that we have shuttles these are old plastic not the kind of plastic we're used to little itty bitty adorable tetanus in a box <laughs> more needles I'm gonna, that one's empty. I'm gonna guess, go out on a limb and guess these are sewing machine needles. But I'm not sure I wanna break the seal to find out. A little ruler. A broken crochet hook. I know what this is. Give me a second. It is for pattern tracing with tracing paper. Somebody on one of the lists was asking about one of these not long ago. Stitch holders for your knitting. I've got a bazillion of these, and you know, the ones I just bought at Walmart, are they're still making them the exact same way, same color, same metal. Some things never change. A hairpin lace crochet loom. Look for the union label when you shop. Symbol of decency, fair labor standards, and the American way of life. We're on strike against somebody who ran away to Alabama is unfair to its workers north and south. Oh, Judy Bond blouses. 
and we got a little sewing kit. <laughs> a buttonhole ruler. A plastic thing. All the talking we do about needle threaders. Here's, I think you put the needle through there and push the, yep, you put the needle through there, push the button, and it forces the thread through, which is amazingly similar to the one on my sewing machine. And if you don't like that needle hole threader, we got these. Now that was from Necky. I don't think Grandma ever had a Necky sewing machine. Did she? I'm being told she did. I thought we had all of her sewing machines and none of them are Neckies, but. Safety pins for securing shank buttons, which look a lot like the bulb safety pins that I use for marking my, what do I use those for? Knitting socks mar marking my stitches. Button hook? D okay guys, tell me, is it a crochet hook? Is it a button hook? It's a thing. Hairpin? Bob's hamburgers, which are very much an Oregon thing. I miss those. They brought them back a few years ago and they're not as good as they used to be or as good as I remember them. But we got a Bob's sewing kit. Another shuttle. A very, okay, that's a very long darning needle. And a lot of very fine crochet hooks. Grandma, if you saw the video with the dolls and the dresses, that woman could crochet anything and did. A tatted butterfly, do we know if this was hers? I don't. A tad of butterfly that we could just prefer to think that Grandma did. She liked all the little sewing kits. And we have plastic thimbles. This one is from another one from the Royal Neighbors of America. And some metal ones. And a rubber one. <laughs> if Portland Federal. I'm gonna guess that was a bank or a credit union. I love all this old advertising stuff. Dressmaker's chalk. A plastic darning needle. Again, I think you would go down and buy one of these at Walmart that was very similar. A Beeline Fashions thimble. And we've still got more to go, guys. She had a fully stocked sewing box, and I am so glad that I'm doing this instead of the one from the estate stock, because it didn't have a quarter this much stuff. Fine quality woven edge rayon seam binding. Okay, I know what this is called. I know how to use one. The name is escaping me right now, but they weave, they knit eye cord. And I bet you that one's a flower maker. Rust proof, laundry proof, and I'm going to guess those are snaps. The Grants One Needle Looping. The first step in looping for fun. This is another thing that might be fun to play with for a video, so let me know, guys, if you want to see me try to put an eye out with this thing. It has a spring. It has a plastic thing. I'm going to guess this is for making flowers or pom-poms or something. And I know that every time I ask this stuff, somebody will know. Remember how I've talked about grandma's beads in the box that she used to have of them? An embroidery hoop that, only one ring of it. 
and a wooden one. Rug or embroidery hook. Somebody tell me, is this a punch needle? Because I'm thinking it probably is. Another pair of sewing scissors. Another little handheld sewing machine. A magnifier. A gift for you representing the Phoenix of Hartford Insurance Companies of Hartford, Connecticut. I take it that Grandma saved every little freebie promotional sewing kit that anybody ever gave her, and thank you, Grandma. <laughs> I like having them now. And a burrow. It looks like felt and burlap or something. Rick rack. Another of the, I've got one of these at home. I tell you, she had beads. I did fun things with beads and I would love to find the pattern for this and see if I could make one with my dollar store beads. Snaps, hooks. Oh, holiday decorations. Oh, they're crochet molds. They're molds for the starch crochet, which I would never have known except my mom just told me. Some more rickrack. Another little basket. I seriously love these things. They are the most great grandma craft out there ever. She made all kinds of things, but some things just make me think grandma. Rayon taffeta seam binding again. A seam gauge. Oh, I'd forgotten about the bells. She had lots of bells. I've not seen one of those for years. Lace wrapped around an old wooden spool. The most stinking cute pin cushion in the history of ever. Uh, more nylon thread. Little pin cushion. Maybe before digging through these old sewing baskets and boxes, you should be up on your tetanus shots. More pattern transfers. It's been a long time since I've seen lace sold in the plastic like this to keep it clean. I might scavenge this for a dollhouse something. Because that is the tiniest, cutest lace ever. It's really pretty black lace. A little flower for saving your threads in. The top is a thimble. Oh, and the top is a thimble. More black lace. This stuff's crispy. And more knitting needles and shuttles. And I tell you, Grandma left a stash behind that. Well, we're still using things from it 40 years later. So stash acquisition beyond life expectancy is not a bad thing. Genuine ocean pearl guaranteed washable buttons. And now we are down to the bottom of grandma's sewing basket with just a little bit of thread left. I just get such a kick out of old sewing notions in general and my great grandma's old sewing notions in particular. And I missed the hat pin. She was born in 1888 and died in 1982. And this is part of what she left behind because she left behind a lot. And over the years, we have used a lot of what she left behind. And a tatting shuttle. Thanks for watching. I'm Michelle. This is my Romantic Tangle. Let me know, do you have sewing stash from the women who came before you in your family do you use it or do you keep it boxed up and safe because the packaging is so pretty i'll be back with you with more videos soon thanks for watching